guys, it's your girl Lauren and I am back with another video, you guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed my last video. Um, I hope that I answered a few questions that y'all were looking for. And we're just going to get a little deeper from there. Because I definitely said I wanted to share a lot about my life with you guys. And the only way I can share my life about you guys, with you guys is just getting deeper in who I am. Uh, so I definitely want to start off with uh, my childhood. Um, I grew up in Orange, uh, as I told y'all before. Um, I am. I have three siblings. I have two sisters and a brother. Um, I am the third girl, so that makes me the third child. <laughs> um, I grew up. In a household with my mom, my dad, and my sisters, my brother. Um, when I was probably about five or six, probably a little younger than that, my mom and dad divorced. Um, and my dad went and stayed with his uh, mom. Okay, so my grandma is, well, she's my great-grandma. My great-grandma raised my dad. So if y'all hear me throughout the story say his mom, it's actually his grandma but she raised him, and so he considered her as his mom, and we consider her as his mom. So, my gr my great grandma, his his mom, um, she raised him, which is nanny in this story. Okay, so in the story that I'm about to tell y'all, okay, I'm let me give y'all the characters. <laughs> we have Brianna, Misha, Josh, Mama, Daddy, Nanny, Grandma Tootie, and. As we go, I'll start giving names. I'll start giving who is who. Okay, so uh, Nanny is my great grandma, but she's the one that raised my daddy. And Grandma Tootie is my dad's actual mom, uh, which is my grandma. Okay, so growing up, uh, after my mom and dad divorced, um, after my mom and dad divorced, my dad went and stayed with Nanny. And uh, we kind of just juggled back and forth uh, from my mom and my dad and my grandma. My dad was a manager at Cons for years uh, and he drove the truck so he used to work a lot. Like my dad worked a lot. Uh, my mom, uh, she, my mom, uh, I'm trying to get a job. <laughs> My mom was a paralegal and she's still a paralegal to this day. My mom was in school getting her nurse degree and my mom worked at the church as a secretary. Um, so growing up after my mom and dad uh, separated, we spent more time with my nanny than anything because my mom uh, was working, doing everything she was doing. And my dad was working, doing everything he was doing. So we were practically raised by Brianna, which is our older sister. Uh, she really raised us at some point of our life. Like, she really raised us. Well, our younger part of our life, she raised us. Uh, because she woke us up, get us dressed for school, get us ready, breakfast, dinner. My sister, like, she's the chef of the family. And that's because my sister's been cooking since diapers. Okay? she been cooking forever. So, she learned how to cook. Like, because she's been cooking forever. So, um, growing up, you know, like I said, we bounced back and forth from uh, my mom's house and my nanny's house uh, with my dad. Uh, we used to see my dad every once in a while. I remember times like I used to literally, like my dad used to get off of work because the only time we really got to see my dad is when he came home from work, like actually up because then we'll go to school and then by the time we get off, he at work or whatever the case is or he's asleep uh, because he has to go to work. So, uh, he used to come home with, like, chips and stuff because we love hot fries. Uh, we love hot fries, brisk, excuse me, and sunflower seeds. I haven't had sunflower seeds in so long. Honestly, I can get a pack of sunflower seeds. I ain't had sunflower seeds in a long time. But anyway, we, like, grew up on, you know, those different things <laughs> as far as snacks and now waiters. So, um, he used to always bring, you know, snacks and stuff. He used to come in the house. And we used to sit up, talk to him. He used to always be like, can you go fix him a glass of water? And, like, we will fix him a glass of water. And, like, literally, it took him two seconds. He'd gulp it down, and then we go get him another glass. And then we free to go, or we chill for a little bit, and then go to sleep because we got school in the morning. Uh, my mom, 
I used to literally go make her mad early in the morning because I knew that was the only time I was really going to be able to see her uh, because she was asleep because she had a long day ahead of her, a long night ahead of her because she did night school uh, as well. And so I used to just go piss her off in the morning just to hear her voice. Um, so at one point in our life, we ended up going live with my grandma, which is Momo and Papa. We went stay with them for a year, probably a little over a year. Um, and we actually had so much fun down there. Um, it, we used to do a lot, like a crazy story uh, with that is, so me and my brother, Josh, uh, found a stray dog. <laughs> so stupid. We were dumb, but we found a stray dog and we wanted the dog. I can't even remember what we called the dog. So uh, we knew that if the dog was dirty, they wasn't going to let us keep the dog. So we washed the dog in the backyard, but we used all my papa and mama good towels, like the good towels. And we got our tail toe up. I mean, we got toe up, y'all. Like, it was crazy. We got toe up. But um, that's, that's a crazy story of down there. We had a lot of crazy stories down there. We, I have a lot of crazy stories in my life. Uh, so if y'all want to know like deeper crazy stories or something, then just ask me and I got y'all. Let me tell you. So, um, yeah, my childhood, uh, I grew up in Orange, Texas. Um, I'm going to go from what I'm going to tell y'all is from elementary. I'm going to tell y'all my life through elementary. That's what this video is going to be about. My elementary, my childhood life. Um, so grew up in Orange. Uh, we used to run the neighborhood, y'all. I was bad. So, I stayed, like, fighting. I stayed in something, getting suspended from school, getting whooped. My granny used to have switches and used to be tearing us up. Like, we used to always be doing something. Me and my brother, really. Used to always be me and my brother. Uh, we used to always do stuff. But, um, besides, like, the good moments, like, I feel like I was a pretty depressed child. Um, I was happy at most points of my life, but I felt that, uh, you know, at some point I didn't have my parents and I, and I'm speaking for me because I, I don't want to tell my sisters or my brother life story because that's their story. So speaking for me, I felt at some point I became depressed because my parents were always working and, um, all we had was each other. Uh, we never got to do anything with our cousins like that because they always counted us out. Um, they used to always go do stuff and say, oh, we forgot about y'all. So we always was, we always grew up in like this tight knit family. Um, cause we never really did nothing with our uh, cousins and stuff on my mom's side. On my dad's side, um, we used to do a lot with them, uh, when we did, uh, get with them when my dad was off. We used to always go ride the block. Um, we stayed, my grandpa had a shop at one point in his life and we stayed going to the shop. Oh my God. Like at some point we loved going to the shop, but then it got tiring because we stayed at the shop and we used to be at the shop for hours. Like, and at the shop literally was just, it was just a sh like a big like shed type thing. And it was cars everywhere, paint everywhere, rocks like trees and stuff and it was just bugs and mosquitoes are really bad out there so we used to stay getting told about mosquitoes and we used to be there like all night and my granny stayed around the corner so at some point we would just walk home um sorry y'all oh, sorry 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 so uh that's you know just let me start now okay so that was something, um, but I felt, like I said, like I was saying, um, I felt at one point I started getting depressed in my life because, you know, we didn't have our parents all the time like normal kids have. I'm not going to say normal kids because we were normal kids, but, um, you know, some parents, uh, some kids have their parents because their parents, you know, work nine to five or, you know, different things or whatever cases. My parents were trying to make a way not only for themselves, but us. And give us the life that, you know, they wanted us to have that they never had. And it required them to work a lot. 
Um, so we didn't really get, you know, a relationship with them how we have it now until we started getting older. Um, so my childhood wasn't horrible, but it was okay. It wasn't a bad, you know, childhood. It's just that's how I grew up. That was my life. And um, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, y'all, you know what? Honestly, that's the only way I really can explain my childhood. I know this video is probably kind of like dry to y'all because you like, girl, you really ain't say too much. But to me, I said enough because my life gets way more interesting once I hit middle school. Uh, once I hit middle school, my life completely changed. So if y'all want to hear that, stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything um, in particular that you want to know, comment down below or inbox me or look in the description. You can get in touch with me any type of way. And we're just going to get into the next video. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.